Well, hi folks. I have another Beatles Finds video. And it really wasn't time for me to do another Beatles Finds video. I hadn't really found a lot of things by way of memorabilia or records or anything like that. But when you have friends out there that are very generous, you have Beatles Finds a lot sooner than you intended. And I'm talking about my friend Elliot, who came through again. He notified me, told me that he's cleaning out his closet, so to speak. He's got stuff that he wants to give away to me, and I'm really honored about that. And I'm going to show you some of the stuff. Uh, I'm going to start with, uh, by the way, do you call this stuff swag? I don't know if, the, if I can call this the Beatles swag. That's a word that's coming around a lot lately, but uh, I don't usually use it, so... Uh, I'm going to start by this clock, which has a date on it of 1988. It's an alarm clock from uh, Apple Corps. And there it is. How is that? How cool is that? A Beatles alarm clock. Now, I never need an alarm clock to wake me up in the morning. I, I, my whole life, I've always just opened my eyes at the time that I'm supposed to get up. I never needed a reminder. Uh, but um, this one here is really cool looking. And it reminds me of the alarm clock used in A Day in the Life. Remember? So, that's very cool. Now, I'm sitting back a little farther than I usually do when I'm making one of these videos. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to try to get as much of this in as I can. There were a lot of nice things that were uh, given to me by Elliot. But probably my favorite item is this. And I'm really hoping I can get it into the picture. It's a one-sheet poster from a movie. Ringo Starr's Caveman. Now, it's a little, there's a little tear in the top, but I can fix that. Uh, and it's got a pretty funny, uh, I guess you could call it a, what, what, what do they call those things? Not lingo. What do they call it? Oh, I know I know what the name of it is, but uh, somebody will tell me in the comments, and then I'll say, yeah, that's what they call it. Taglines, a tagline. You know, back when you had to beat it before you could eat it. That's what Ringo's doing there. That's Caveman. This movie's uh, 1981 release. He met his girlfriend and wife-to-be, Barbara Bach, on the set of Caveman. And uh, they're still together. They met in 1980 when they were uh, filming the movie. And they're still together after all these years. Now I'm going to try to make an attempt here to gently put this on the side without doing any editing. All right, so that's the item that I'm most excited about here. But these other ones are so cool, too. And just to whet everybody's appetite, I'll just... I got a bunch of <clears throat> Beatles bags here, too. Uh, it's pretty cool. Hold on a minute. Like this here, see? Okay, and there's stuff in here, too, you know. All right. What could be in the bag? Well, we're going to find out. I'm going to start with a nice autograph, framed autograph of Billy J. Kramer. How do you like that? It's funny because I actually did not get Billy J. Kramer's autograph myself, but I went to a couple of Beatle Fests. He was there, and I just never got around to it. Not because I don't like, like Billy J. Kramer, I do, but there was so much else to do and autographs to get that I had to be selective, and now I don't have to worry about it. Because I'm covered. Thank you for that. Um, I'll leave this for later. I'm going to kind of put that down there. Some Beatle books here. This is a book called The Beatles Experience from Rock and Roll Comics. And what this is, is uh, there were comics that were out, I believe, telling the Beatles story from A to Z. And uh, bear with me. As I said, I'm not doing any editing here, so I'm just... Got to make some room to put this on the side. And that's exactly what we got here. We got the Beatles story in comic book form. And hopefully you get to see them age a little bit here. I don't know <laughs> if you can tell if it comes across here, but you get the idea. 
So this goes all the way up to 1989 or 1991. This goes all the way up to 1991 with the Solo Beatles. So this is really cool. And I don't have this. Um, now also another book. There's another book that I do not have. This book is uh, the book You Never Give Me Your Money. And it's... Uh, by Peter Doggett, the Beatles after the breakup. Really nice shape with the dust jacket and it's the Beatles after the breakup. All right. There were some items in here uh, that were not Beatles related items. Uh, I won't say what they were. But uh, I'm not showing those here, except one, which I'll, I'll get into. All right, this is a book that I put off getting for a long time. Finally, I couldn't resist anymore, and I finally added it to my collection late. In other words, I have a copy of this already. This is a double, and it's uh, the May Pang book, Instamatic Karma, Photographs of John Lennon, which I, I got only fairly recently. If I had waited just a little bit longer... This is in great shape, but uh, uh, as, as you probably can guess, this gives me the opportunity to have items also for trade uh, at some point. Or maybe if I have to do contests, I can have items here to give away. Uh, you know, for contest winners. Um, I'm pretty sure when I got this, I showed the book, but, you know. Just a lot of good pictures of John in it. All the way down the line. Great book. Oops, I don't want to ruin the dust cover. You know, you want to, you want to show things, but you don't want to ruin them for the sake of display and, and uh, show and tell. You know what I mean? Okay, so that takes care of that bag. But wait a minute, hold on. There's more where that came from. But because this is kind of live, I'm going to wing it here. Oh, there's another bag. You can hear what's in there just by the sound of it, right? <laughs> the Beatles. Another Beatles bag. Yes, yes, they're mugs. I'll tell you already. I've got a lot of mugs in here. Um, let's start with this mug that I already had taken out here. This is Ringo and his all-star band, the tour. 2000. This is the stuff that I really like. I like stuff that's promotional. It's promotional items. Uh, I'm not as big, people know, on uh, retro stuff. I mean, if it's cool, I like retro stuff. Like, this clock here is retro. This is not like anything from vintage of the time. But yet, it's cool to have. Uh, but this is like an actual promotional mug uh, for that particular... Uh, Tour. This is an example of a retro thing, but it's cool. Uh, it's the Beatles on Apple mug. Okay. And I see I'm starting a mug collection. So let's keep the mugs coming here. Here's another Ringo tour mug. Uh, we did 2000 already. Now this is 2003. Ringo Star and his all-star band tour 2003 and yes these do have to be clean a little bit <laughs> nobody's been drinking out of these this is one that's still in the, the plastic I'll take it out just to get a good look at it this is another Ringo Ringo star and his all-star band it's really this is, a, this is a bigger mug than the other one okay Ringo Star and his old star band. Very nice. Nice design on this with the peace sign, of course. What else would you expect with Ringo? A peace sign, maybe a heart. Okay, let's keep it going. Sorry, it's not the video's not too tight. Okay, I'm reaching in here. Here's a really beautiful 
plaque or artwork of John Lennon Imagine. You can see John in there, in addition to the word Imagine. And the tiles, it looks like this is the, this is the circle on Strawberry Fields, maybe. But uh, you can see the John in there, too. Very nice. Nice to have that framed. A lot of these framed items I have to save for the day, which will come when I get more space. Uh, what do you got here? Okay, I showed that already. We still got a mug here. The Beatles story from Albert Dock, Liverpool. Are you all mugged out yet? No? Okay, well, one more. <laughs> one more whether you're mugged out or not. This is, it says, the art, the art of Paul McCart. Art, get the art, get it? McCartney. <laughs> the art of Paul McCartney. Um, let's see now. Continuing right along, look at this. We have... An official Apple Records bag. This one that needs to be cleaned a little bit. Oh, I'm not being picky. I'm just saying. I mean, I could. I have to dust it off a little before I showed it. But this is an, another tote bag, 2010. And because I said I was going to show one non-Beatles item here, it's close enough. It's the monkeys, Davy Jones. They made a monkey out of me. <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, this I say there was some other stuff here, but uh, it wasn't Beatles related, so I didn't really bother to show. Um, Elliot, thank you so much. Uh, anytime you want to just uh, burden yourself of some stuff, you could burden me because now I have to find some place to put all these things uh, in the kitchen or something, <laughs> or on the shelves or whatever. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, Elliot, for being so generous. Take care. Enjoy.